Belt game, boys. David T versus Lambo. Madden 25 Unstoppable Challenge Final. And I'm rooting for David T. Um, Hotroute.tips. That's where you get his stuff. I'll put a link to that down below. Love me some David T. Love the way he plays. Love how systematic he is. Uh, Lambo, these guys are basically polar opposites. Uh, David T is going to be very systematic, very methodical, very step one, step two, step three, step four, going to free form. It's going to be very clean, a uh, very clean player. Lambo is the exact opposite of that. Lambo is re to an almost reckless, um, actually love for David that he's going to be getting ball in half. And Lambo is, he's going to be a little reckless, going to be a little wild. He's going to be a little loose. Uh, he's going to play a lot different, a lot different styles. David T is going to be in the Chiefs offensive playbook, running a formation we really haven't seen a lot this year. Why off trips uh, nasty is his main uh, is his main formation. Lambo is in Eagles, and he's going to be running a lot of kind of oddly around um, a lot, and he runs a lot of streaks. Lambo puts two, three, four streaks on the field every time. Basically trying to bait you into switch sticking to a post or something and then hit you over the top with a sheet, uh, uh, with a streak or a seam streak. Defensively, uh, David T is in Vikings playbook, I believe, and he is going to be running a lot of 3-3-5 odd and a little bit of 1-4-6 here. And so it looks like actually, yeah, 1-4-6 to start for David T. I love this approach when playing Lambo. He's going to be kind of sending send four pressure here, trying to get this loop through the A-gap. And then really just trying to switch stick defensively. The reason I like this defensive approach is the best way to defend a player like Lambo is to make them is to force them to take the underneath all the way up the field uh, because they are going to consistently make bad reads and they're going to make mistakes. So trying to let Lambo beat himself is going to be a great strategy from David T, uh, which is really, I think, the reasoning why he's in this defense as opposed to uh, as opposed to his 3-5 odd, which is what he's been running the majority of the time, what he ran, what he ran in a limbs, uh, what he ran the majority of the game against Wesley. He ran this some, but uh, we'll see how this goes. First drive, kind of a fill-out drive, but we, we're just trying to hope that Lambo makes a mistake, and he doesn't, as you see. That's why Lambo has five streaks on every play, and... Able to hit a seam streak over the top. This could be interesting. David T gets better defensively as the game goes on. Uh, you'll constantly see David give up a touchdown on the first drive, maybe even give up a touchdown on the second drive, and then all of a sudden it's like he just clamps down. Uh, so we'll be kind of interested to see if that takes place throughout this game. David is in the Chiefs playbook. Lambo is going to be running 3-4 odd, send six. Send everybody. Uh, Lambo is going to blitz a lot. He's going to play man coverage. He's going to try to get a D-line pick. He's going to try to, you know, switch stick and bite down real hard on something. That's pretty much how Lambo plays. Um, and so 3-4 odd, really fast pressure, a great send six. 3-4 odd is going to struggle because you're basically forced into running man coverage if you're going to send six. It's just, it's a tough formation. It's a good formation. Uh, but then Lambo will randomly drop everybody out of the, of the blind. But we'll see how he defends this RPO. And you know David's going to go to that RPO. That's the RPO read flat out of Kansas City. And you see first play touchdown. You love to see that for David T. The more we can force someone like Lambo to play offense, the better chance Lambo will throw a pick. Um, that was an easy first play touchdown. You love to see that out of David T. He didn't have to show anything. But that RPO, read Y flat out of Y off trips nasty in the Chiefs playbook is the best RPO in this game. And it is the hard, it is one of the things that's going to make it really, really, really hard for 3 4 odd to be able to handle because 3 4 odd is a compressed defense. Everything's in tight. It's going to be hard for that 3 4 odd. You see here, everything's in here. That RPO gets out there quick. He breaks one tackle. Able to get out, able to get a touchdown, and now we're basically even. Now the thing is, David gets ball at half. Uh, Lambo going to start out with some RPOs here. David shifts back into three three five odd. I believe ultimately David is most comfortable in three three five odd defensively. Um, I think that's been his main defense that he's been running throughout the year. 
So we'll kind of see how, how that goes. Good pressure. The beauty of this Sin 5 is Lambo likes to Sin 5 out a lot. And you're going to see that that's not going to be uh, ideal for this. So we'll kind of see how this all plays out. But we'll see. This is a big down. This is third nine. And if David can get a stop early, it can really shift this game quick. Good read by Lambo, just taking the flat. But I'm telling you, Lambo is good for at least one pick a game, just throwing it to you, typically. So we'll see. And he even said in his interview, he's blind. He throws some blind stuff. He's going to do that smoke screen again. Honestly, if you're David, you're kind of fine with that. Like, make him do that every play. You know, it's not a huge deal. Uh, maybe put a hard foot over there, but not a big, big deal. Um, little drag route. Was, you know, David's right there, pretty much. And uh, Lambo actually is coming off of just beating Abram, who runs the same defense. Uh, 3 5 odd runs it more of a man-based David's almost always going to be more of a zone-based player. He likes switch stick. He likes to disguise his coverage. He likes to adjust a little bit. Um, so David is pretty much going to be setting up these switch sticks. What makes a player like Lambo really, really difficult to play is he just is going to do some stuff that you've never seen, and he's going to – it's hard to switch stick him um, just because of his ten – he doesn't really have tendencies. Um, he does. Every player does. But Lambo is just – you know, like, there you go. RPO gets in the end zone. This could be a shootout, too, um, because of the way Lambo plays. I mean, it just – he's – Lambo's defense is, like, all risk. He's going to play very risky defensively. And then offensively, it's just, it's just hard to get a – it's hard to get a tendency on Lambo. Like, ultimately, he's always going to come back to, like, RPOs. He's going to come back to RPOs. He's going to come back to putting everybody on a streak. Right, those are his main things. Um, the way that I would defend somebody like Lambo is I just make them have to throw the ball in the middle of the field. Like you're not getting the flats, you're not getting the streaks. You've got to throw in the middle of the field. Uh, so we'll see kind of how that goes. We'll see what David does. Lambo's in three, four odds still. Looks like David is going to run a pass play. The thing is, he's going to get screamed at pretty much every play uh, with this. If Lambo's going to send six, if it's hard to pick up this this sin six, honestly. You're going to have to block your tight end a lot. There we go. Get a block tight end. Get the running back out there in the route. One of the things that David can literally do, too, in this game, another thing that's going to be important as we kind of work through into the second possession, is going to be the clock. Um, David is going to have, you know, the ability to manage the clock well because he gets balled half. So we're going to see how that how that kind of fares out as well. Got that out route on the right side. There's that nice drag route to the running back. And you're seeing David's playing fairly simple. He realizes it's a send six every single time pretty much. And it'll be interesting to see if Lambo is going to change that up, how Lambo is going to go about it. The thing is, and then here's that RPO, just going to sneak that in there quick. And David's going to sneak that RPO in throughout the game because it's not really a um, – it's very difficult to defend this RPO in in this formation. So, David being a little more measured, a little more methodical this drive, you're just not going to have a lot of time against this defense, which is the, the big thing. Uh, but th this is a great tactic to beat this. Get that running back out on the route. Kind of get some stuff like this going. Here he's going to basically force you to, to throw that. Good read by, uh, by David, taking that speed out. And that's one of the things you can do against this formation with wild trips nasty. One of the beauties of the formation is you can motion that running back out to the solo side, but he comes out here at the wild side. So you get a real nice spread formation. Very nice play by David. Just going to the inside zone, just trying to see, you know, is the is the run game viable against this look? It is. One of the major things that Lambo is gonna do is he's gonna start to he's gonna basically use her the tight end. Um, if the tight end does go in route, David's going to have to send the tight end on a route some, but he's pretty religiously blocking the tight end to pick this blitz up to give him enough time to hit a drag. So it's kind of a cat and mouse game at this point. Critical red zone position. Uh, if you're David, you, you don't have to get seven, but you know, you Lambo's Lambo's look pretty good offensively so far. You know, so you've got to kind of, you really want seven here. Um, because situation and the thing that's really nice about this, this is going to work out pretty good for David. Hopefully, 
is we get into this second quarter. This is what I was saying about this clock. David really wants to score with, you know, five, 350, basically before the, the, the 330 mark. And it kind of makes Lambo. it makes it more difficult for him to clock. So this is going to time out really well. He just got to focus on getting seven here. And you see how the user's over that tight end. And there you go. And that's what that's Lambeau's entire defense. David's throwing a touchdown, but he gets to throw out a sack and he almost gets the interception. But notice what Lambeau's doing with his user is he's so watch here. You'll see his hover. He's going to get over here on the tight end side. And if that tight end goes on a route, he's going to try to manually bump him uh, a lot. Now, David T going to change formations up a little bit. We'll see. He's got the running back on a wheel. I'm trying to think who would, I think the running back would be open here. Watch that linebacker. That's a good user. That's a really good user from Lambeau. Able to kind of jump that pretty quickly. Normally, that route should be a little bit better uh, at getting it field, but just wasn't able to. And this is a big third down. Uh, don't hate the time out there by Lambeau. This is a big third down in this game. Because if David doesn't get this third down, he's probably going to have to take his three. And then Lambeau gets in a position where he can take a lot of control over the game. So... Kind of a key situation. This is where you might sneak your tight end out on the seam streak. Uh, it does look like he's going to send five out here. Lambo loves to try to manually bump this tight end. He's going to drop everybody out. There's the corner route. That's a tendency thing, and this is a terrible pick. There's no way that should have been a pick. Oh, my gosh. That's, that's an easy first. Now, I will give credit to David on that, too. He, well, Lambo did last game a lot. I can't believe that's a pick. I, I don't I don't know how that's an interception, let alone a KO. But uh, what Lambo did a lot last game is Lambo constantly he would drop everybody out on big downs, um, and basically try to rely on shed. That's a great post right. This is how Lambo plays, man. This is just so. I mean, <laughs> gosh. All right, so there you go. There's your two possession lead. Now David needs to wake up, go down and get seven. And he needs to play some defense because you can't let this game. The, the biggest trick in Madden to me with the with the time management and the clock management and the end of half scenarios, you can't let the game get too far away from you that that second half, um, that second half timeout becomes a disadvantage. So David really needs to score. This kind of needs to be seven. And we really don't want Lambo to score. But right here, I mean, there's that play again. That's a good good combo with the post. And then that uh that like weird little wheel route from the slot receiver cleared out really nicely. There's the RPO out of there. And honestly, here if you're David, you don't really care as I don't know if you care that much about clocking. It's a little too early. You gotta score seven. Um you, you honestly, I don't know. I, I need David to play a little better defensively because it, it, it looks way too easy for Lambo right now. We need him to kind of get into a rhythm on, on defense. There's that RPO. See how open that is? I mean, that's just a free, you know, that's just a free RPO against against this 3-4 odd. It, it's very difficult for him to stop. He's going to have to user it, basically. Problem is, he didn't quite enough down here, second and four. Probably going to run on that standard play here. Block the tight end. There's the speed out. Watch for that. There's that switch stick. Good switch stick by Lambo. And that's a great read by David. It actually worked out great for him. He needs to just get in the end zone. Oh, you've got to get in the end zone right there. Shoot. So now, you know, 330. Uh, this is basically Lambo is going to clock as much as he can. So this is a critical deal. David has to score seven here. This is a... At this point, you're going to give him the ball back. If you you this is four down territory, you've got to score. Uh, I don't care what you what you know. You have to score right here. Um, if you don't score right here, this game can get out of reach just based off clock. So you've got to score right here. He's going to do that glitchy motion stuff. Uh, let's see. He's got the bubbles. I don't know if I love this play either. I I don't know what we're doing. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Is he trying to take clock? I just don't know what he's trying. I I just feel like you got to just get in the end zone here. I don't know why he's why would he he's going RPO flat. You can't really. I don't love calling that either. I feel like it's kind of an obvious call. I'd almost rather a stretch stretch left. He's gonna go stretch right. Okay, 
maybe. Stretch right. Just dang it. Doesn't get in on that dive, and there now we're now we're getting a little <laughs> getting a little eh. Not in a great position here for David. You really want to get in on that first run. And I feel like that deuce close. There's just so many people there. That inside zone, it's hard for that to work. Now you're throwing to go from the one. Ah, just not a great, not a great situation. But if you're David, you got to score here. I mean, this is, we're like in that territory where it's got to happen. We're going to go fullback dive. I think he's got it. He does not have it. Shoot. I feel like those are pretty. Ah, fourth and one. Got to go for this. This is like early, early, but this is like, this is pretty much it. I mean, if he didn't get this, this is bad. Like, this is really bad if he doesn't get this. He does still have time to be able to get a stop and get back down there, but you kind of got to get seven here. He's not going to give you that RPO. Is he going to throw this? I don't love that either. We're going to have timeout, timeout, timeout. Yeah. Gosh, this is just, oh, I feel like those first three plays were just, you. that stretch was your best shot, and he didn't. They they Wesley did the same thing. They did the they do this dive deal and sometimes it goes and ah now Lambo that's a good timeout by Lambo. This is a huge down. This is a huge huge down in this game. What if you quick snap RPO? Uh, I feel like yeah he's gonna do it. Yep, open. Oh Lambo messed up. That's such a bad user. He had it too. Look at this. Look at Lambo. Look at Lambo. Like, you know, like, if he calls hike here, you know he's throwing this RPO. So watch what Lambo does. He switch sticks here. If he keeps going this way, it's a, it's a, it's, it's going to stop it. But what does he do? He gets off of it. I don't know why. Maybe to try to stop the run. But this run's not even that good. It's this that you got to stop. I just feel like that was really bad defense by Lambo. <laughs> and, then, and then David gets the touchdown. And now here we are, 14-21. This is a crazy game. David's got a chance here. Uh, David needs to get a stop. David needs to get a stop. Honestly, uh, if it's if it's a hold the three, uh, that's fair. You give up seven here, it's pretty bad because there's if you give up seven here, Lambo's gonna for more than likely take all his clock. So if you give up seven, you're not gonna be able to get back in the in the in the you know now you're gonna need a little bit more help defensively. So you know if you can hold the three here, this is ideal. Hold the three or just get a flat out stop. He throws a pick. That's such an interception. Give him the interception back. That is an interception. Gosh. If you look at that pick versus the pick that Lambo got, I feel like it's the same basic thing. I feel like David is more of a cleaner pick, but I want to see that be intercepted. All right, now we've got him. Okay, and this is what I was saying about David. As the game goes on, David gets better defensively. He really does. He starts to kind of figure out, okay, you're going to hit this, this, that. This is a huge down. Third and 13. Corner out to the tight end. He's going to switch ticket. Not able to get there. It's all right. You're playing good defense. Lambo's going to throw this RPO to the left, I bet you. He, this is like his safety valve. Nope. Two streaks. He's going to throw. Good defense. I feel like David's got him right here. I feel like he's got a chance at a stop. This is where Lambo just dang. Shoot. Honestly, let's see if he scores here. This is a little bit of a decision. Yeah, I it's actually I feel like that's a really good decision by Lambo to go down there because he is a he's a, he is up seven. But if he doesn't score seven here, uh this is like you kind of see why you wouldn't do that. But, I mean, Lambo just plays nuts. I mean, it's, just, it's like three streaks. Like, David's trying to switch it to a corner route. There's not a corner route. It's everything's a streak. It's just it, David just over over aggressive on the switch stick there. And 
and now we're in a split close situation or, or inside the one 40 seconds you if you're gonna if he's gonna score you want it to be here but you've got to try to stop this because if you can hold the three it's huge um and okay one more can he get if he could hold here then there's a decision at least for lambo we just got to make it get to fourth down so hopefully hopefully david can get him to fourth down here and and at least make him have to make a decision Lambo's if you're Lambo, you're trying to score at this point. Uh, you've got your clock management done. It's gonna be hard for David to do anything with this. Got to go quick slants. He loves to go quick slants. He throws the ball into the third row. Now we got a fourth down. He did stop the clock. Lambo should go for this. Um, no, I, it's a decision. It's a decision. I could see it either way. He's gonna throw the bubble, probably. No, he's going to throw this flat to the tight end. David's in 3-4 odd for the bread. Um, he's got him. He's got him bagged up. Oh, backbreaker route. That's a huge seven for Lambo, honestly. That's a huge seven. That's a huge, huge, huge seven. This game's so... Whoa, this game's so interesting how... How, I mean... Gosh, that just put 15 people on the street. <laughs> oh, Lambo plays so weird. Um, all right, 12 seconds. Gosh, look at this. This is pretty much bagged. It's just, what's his, yeah. Just got enough separation on that backside in route. That's why you always have two of them. They typically will take the first one, and that second one's going to be there. That's a good combo. Good combo out of that. Red zone flat. David, uh, what are we going to run here? 15 post routes. And he's going to try to throw this. Oh, almost caught it. I think the running back might have been open, too. So Lambo, man up three deep. With switch stick, it's super hard to score now on man up three deep because... If you see the third getting beat, you can just switch stick to it. There's probably just RPO here. Yep, just RPO. Get him a little closer. He can try a Hail Mary here. He's in, he's in decent range for a Hail Mary. We have seen Hail Marys get caught. But I would say like more of like your traditional way of beating Man of 3D with just your route combos is hard. They have all going to send everybody. Um... That's one on one. Oh, we almost got it. All right, that's gonna do it for the first half of the of the Unstoppable Challenge final. All right, here we go. David T. Second half underway, and uh, this is this is it, man. David T.'s gotta he's gotta get seven here. Uh, in my opinion, you gotta get seven here. You gotta put yourself in a position where your defense can actually realistically go get a full stop. He's gonna need a full stop in this game. Hits that running back out late. Good read. Able to hit that back. And he's going to be cooking out the gate. Uh, that first half, man, that pick on the in the red zone really, really hurt him. And, um, you know, got to kind of fight through it. Here's that RPO flat. That RPO is so good. It's, it's such a good route. We'll see here. Lambo has not been able to cover it yet. He's gotten close a couple times, but he's not really been able to guard it. I feel like Wesley was honestly playing it a little better. Um, but David can't uh, – you can't get – you can't just call it every play. Uh, it's one of those things where you can kind of sit on that RPO. But David does a good job of kind of mixing it in and just letting you know it's there. It's, it's what I would consider like a constraint play where it just forces you to have to respect that. Going to go to it again here. Actually hand the ball off. Lambo kind of fully commits. The beauty of it, too, is if you're able to cover it, it's just a handoff, right? And you can deal with a loss of a yard or two. Uh, Lambo is in cub now? No, this is just a different variation of odd. Uh, there's a drag route. It's going to bring up a third and five. The only thing I don't love about this... Gosh, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like David's kind of... It's kind of like the RPO or bust um, to a degree. Let's see what he has here. Try and move this guy out a little bit. Hopefully defend that RPO a little better. 
This combo is interesting. Uh, drag, got a short post. And I got a. Yeah, you can't do it. Oh, that's a bad. Ah. I think David just passed like that a little poorly, and uh, the zone was able to, to work it, honestly. Dang it. That's a bad pick. That's two red zone picks, two red zone stops for Lambo. And now we, you know, now, now you're, you know, now you're, you, now you two full stops to even get back in the game. I feel like he tried to freeform that up and up a little bit. When you do that, sometimes the ball just dies. And, and I feel like that's kind of what happened there. Oh, man. That's a tough pick. 28 14. He's going to that really weird play. He's got him open. He misses the read. Throws that in inaccurate. Honestly, probably saves a pick. That probably is a pick if he doesn't do that. Third and eight. I wouldn't. I would. I bet you. You. You could realistically see Lambo calling RPO here. You go wide sale. This should be two streaks here to the right or a short corner of the tight end. There's two streaks. There's a drag. Cut up field. That's why you always have a drag. I'm telling you, streaks and drags in this game are so good. Um, just David, unfortunately, kind of. I think it was. I don't know if it was just a bad pass or just a bad pass lead or what, but just wasn't able to get that drag. First and ten. Little, little jet touch pass. This has been this has been Lambo's Lambo's uh Lambo's baby, even though I think it's gotten about three yards in three games. Spread flex, motion post out of trips. And there's an auto motion. Backside in route here. Oh, nice read to the flat. That was a nice read to the flat. Kind of unfortunate for Lambo. He could have got a little bit better of an animation, got a first down out of that. But you see here, two clock is on. He's trying to take all this clock and just get this game over with. Third and two. It's a big down. And you can go back to that Eagles or the streak. Yeah. Man, these this Randy Moss. I don't know how that keeps getting open, but that that is that is brutal for David. <laughs> that happened to uh, to uh, Abram too. It's the same basic thing. That uh, that streak, just a killer route. And that is going to be very difficult for David to overcome that. Unfortunately. 35 to 14. Uh, look at look at how good this streak is. And it's it's been moss every time, but that streak, that streak beat everybody. I mean, and it's just it's crazy. But the, the, <laughs> he has figured out a way to lob these streaks that they just they just cook everything. Like any kind of press coverage, I feel like these streaks just destroy you. So, I mean, he found something. Up these streaks. Uh, David gonna start out a little run. Not sure. Probably should get to a hash. He's gonna go to more bunch now. Start passing the ball a little bit. Uh, I'm surprised that Lambo goes to double mug here. Uh, probably play more man. Probably play a little better coverage with this double mug. Using this linebacker. Double drags, corner. There's that drag, good read. And and if you're Lambo, you're basically just trying to get this drive to take as much time as possible. Wow, that's the first time that we've seen that RPO get played like that. But that got played. <laughs> first time that RPO got played played big time there. I do feel like David is it, the whole offense is really centered around that RPO and it's really good. It's a really good RPO, but I'm just kind of surprised. David normally just he has a lot more passing um, than what we've seen so far in this specific game. 
which I guess could just be the tight main coverage, the pressure, the force pass, bro, that changes the combos. But yeah, it's just just look at this main coverage just bagging. Gonna be able to top that over, and that's the that's the, that's what I'm saying. It's like David has got the best free form. Like that free form was so clean. Um, and it just, you know, it was like that one he threw the pick on, it just didn't work out the same. But, uh, so David basically has to score seven. He has to get a stop for seven again. And then we're probably looking at an onside, honestly, because of the clock. That's what's so hard about being down three scores in a Madden game. If you're down two scores, you can kind of almost always have a little, a little bit of a shot. Um, and you see this man coverage is sticky. This man coverage is definitely sticky. There's no auto motion in Chiefs, which a lot of people use auto motion to really break man down. Um, yeah, I just it's just unfortunate. A little slant. I gotta tell you, man, I gotta give Lambo a little credit. I mean, this defense is. It's it's weird, but it's it's working. <laughs> I mean, and this is a little more of a, you know, press man to man, shade underneath, like playing good main coverage. But I mean, it's, gosh, it's tough. But David get this to twenty one thirty five. That's a fourteen four. Yeah, he's down twenty one. So you got to throw this tight end here. Gonna use it. That's crazy to me that he's still giving it to him. That's. I mean, if I'm Lambo, I'm just like gonna go use that, and make you run the ball because that keeps the the clock ticking. David gets a touchdown. Uh, David's in position now. You got to get a stop. I mean, at this point, like, you got to get a stop. I do like him going for two here. Look for that tight end corner. That corner's open. Now he's down thirteen. If he gets. I see what he's doing. He's basically down 13. Yeah, he's down 13. Four minutes left. you got to get a stop here. And then we're basically looking at an onside. It'd be crazy if Lambo lost in the finals to an onside. It honestly would be. Because Lambo is here because of an onside kick. Otherwise, it would have been an Abram David final. And that would have gone either way because those guys are, are lab partners, the same crew. Jet touch pass. Gosh, Lambo, it's crazy. He's thrown four almost four hundred yards, five touchdowns. It's hard to it's it's hard to say he's not good, but my gosh, these combos are so interesting. You just never you just don't see these kind of combos sometimes. A lot of what he does is just it's just just different. It's just so different from what we've seen. I mean he and his these these streaks are just unbelievable. How how open this Randy Moss on a streak might be the best route in the game. I mean, it, it's just crazy. And there we see finally the backup and the tight end streak at the corner. Uh, it's just yeah. It's just it's just there's a lot open for Lambo, a lot open for him. It shows you how simple that offense really is at the end of the day, and and, and it's against one of the best switch sticks in the country. Uh, jet touch pass, nice cut. Cut up, get three. Second and seven. The trips. Watch Randy Moss. I'm telling you, there's just something weird about this, but watch this streak. Oh, he's not going to put him on it. See, I would rather drag this guy post this guy. I don't know if I love this route combo. Gosh, you throw that. Yeah. I'll tell you, Lambo audible to round, and it's just you can tell it's just a head scratcher to play play this dude. This dude is tough to play. It's a tough matchup, honestly. He really is. For one game, Lambo can mess you up for one game. If these guys played again, I think David probably clears, but. This one game deal coming out, auto into 15,000 different formations. And honestly, it came down to two red zone picks at the end of the day. I think this game ultimately came down to two red zone picks. David's out of timeouts. Second and nine. Double streaks again. 
to the flat. That's a first down. That's pretty much going to do it. Lambo's going to get his first belt in his first live, which that never happens. Like, very rarely do you get your first belt in your first live event in the same breath. And um, Lambo's <laughs> got to put some respect on his name. Brother's got a belt now. And and it was not necessary. I mean, it, it was fairly convincing. You know, I mean, he the the onside kick against Abram is really the thing that I think you walk away with questions about. But in general, this guy's a this guy's a problem. Eagles playbook. Eagles playbook has all this. We have an uh, we have a mini scheme on the Eagles playbook that covers um, some of the some of the things you're seeing. Probably have to go through and make a full ebook on that now for our guys. But, uh, yeah, this RPO, he didn't even run it this game, which kind of surprised me. One of the best things he had going was this RPO to the left side. I don't think he ran it one time this game. And the jet touch pass finally for clears for him. Uh, and he's going to go down, kneel it out. Lambo is your unstoppable challenge champion over David T., 3522. Thanks for watching this little breakdown. Hope you learned something. If you guys look to take your Madden game to the next level, make sure that you join our school community. It's only 10 bucks to be a member. It's going to get you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks, both for Madden 25 and for college football 25. Uh, just trying to help people get better at the game. Shout out to David T. My guy uh, made it to the finals. Honestly, didn't play his best game, in my opinion. I think I think he definitely would want that back. A couple of those throws. Play a little better offensively. Uh, but in general, uh, it's a step in the right direction. All roads still lead to Madden Bowl. Madden Bowl's right around the corner. Lambo does get his first belt. Thanks for watching this breakdown. If you guys want to check anything out, make sure you head down to the description and uh, check everything out down below.